This show is brought to you by Squarespace and Gamefly. Hey guys and welcome to episode 9 of Food Mob, the interactive cooking show where we show you great recipes and then you go off and make them at home. Aaron's with us today, Lauren is still with us because Rob is off sunning himself in sunny Algarve. Spain. Algarve, Spain. Um, so he is still not here and he's going to be missing today blondies. For those of you not familiar with brownies, for those of you not familiar with blondies even, they're like brownies, like cookies, all combined into one really, really nice. What I did actually was I went onto the Facebook page and we did a live chat, which I'll tell you a little bit about after, and just asked people what sort of cookies they wanted to see, if they wanted preferred brownies, if they preferred uh, cookies. Tons of people came back. People saying, uh, what are they saying? Yes, I want to see cookies. Some people want to see peanut butter cookies, snickerdoodles. No idea what those are, but they sound really good. Uh, go for a classic chocolate chip, white chocolate, macadamia, amazing, chocolate peanut butter cup cookies are the best. Tons of suggestions. Basically ignored them all and we're going to do blondies. Uh, we didn't ignore them all, just combined a couple of them into one. Most people uh, sort of demand that we do something sweet because the uh, show's been going for what, eight episodes now? For time to do a dessert. Um, first thing we're going to do is go through some of last week's photos. First one up there on Flickr, chili con carne for Food Mob by Brian. He's put a little sort of uh, flag into it, which is pretty cool. Loads of people starting to put the Food Mob brand beside the food, which is pretty cool for us to see. Uh, the next one, another little flag in there from Brian again, is the Food Mob Chicken Caesar Roll. Hope you all enjoyed the Chicken Caesar Rolls last week. Um, very, very tasty. Uh, really stunning photo actually sent in by you God. Chicken Caesar Rolls with homemade coleslaw. He's actually done it better than us, I'd say. It looks absolutely delicious. Um, on Facebook, somebody with their little, check that one out Lauren, little Lego um, iPhone holder type thing with rice, some herbs in the rice, didn't tell you to put herbs in the rice but good improvisation. Uh, that is sent in by, I'm not sure who, uh, and then another one with another little phone beside it, not sure what type of phone that is. He's actually sent in, he's done the chicken Caesar burger but he's also said, um, I had some leftover Texas toothpicks which I've never heard of before. Texas toothpicks are fried jalapenos in sort of onion stick form. Had those on the side, totally divine, try the cold sauce. So he's improvised a little bit as well and taught us something new because I had no idea what Texas toothpicks were until now. Anyway, that's pretty much it for last week's photos. Tons of photos coming in. If you want to send them in, send them to us. Uh, best place actually at the moment is Facebook. Loads of people interacting on Facebook. It's become like one of our best channels. Facebook.com forward slash food mob. You can also send them into Flickr, don't remember the URL of Flickr, flickr.com forward slash group food, we'll put it at the bottom of the screen, or Twitter, twitter.com forward slash food mob, or twitter.com forward slash Niall Harbison, food mob TV, food mob TV, Aaron Goodliff, Lauren Fisher, put them all down there, you'll figure it out. Right, blondies, what are blondies? Um, they're basically, as I was saying, a mixture between cookies and brownies. So, first thing we gotta do, is we'll make the wet mix first. So, butter. So, butter goes in there. Brown sugar, the brown sugar is gonna add that little sort of um, nice sweet, nearly caramelly taste, uh, which comes with brown sugar, really, really nice. Using my hands, so make sure your hands are nice and clean beforehand. And now we're gonna need a bit of muscle. So, basically, gonna do what is called creaming. We're gonna cream this up into a very smooth mixture. How do you guys feel about cookies or blondies or brownies? Up for it? I've never heard of a blondie. Never heard of a blondie? Aaron, you've had a few blondies in your time? Yeah. I didn't, I didn't even have that joke planned beforehand, it just came to me. Yeah, you're so uh, funny. <laughs> Ever had blondies before, no? Real American uh, speciality. I'd never heard of them until I went to the States and I was actually working uh, on a boat and some of the guests actually were like, look, can you make some blondies for us? And I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? No idea what they were talking about. Ran downstairs onto the computer, little uh, quick Google search and found out what they were and haven't looked back since. They're absolutely gorgeous. I think you'll both be pleasantly surprised. We're watching the World Cup, which has been poor to date. Not really very good. We're going to do a World Cup challenge actually when the blondies are in the oven we're talking about. 
which is going to be some keep the uppies showing, having a battle between myself and Aaron to see who's the, the most skillful player. Right, so you can see that's really nice and creamy and fluffy, which is exactly what we're looking for. Now, I'm going to pop those in there, because I need the bowl. <laughs> so, a couple of cups of flour. To this, we're going to add in our bacon powder. Now, the bacon powder is just basically going to make it rise up. And we're going to add in our baking soda. Now, a lot of people uh, taking the piss out of me last time we were doing this saying baking, as in bacon. It's baking soda for anybody who doesn't get it out there. Also going to add in a little bit of salt in there. Salted brownies. Just the salt actually sort of brings out the natural sort of flavour in it and really seasons it up. You season it in the same way you'd season savoury food. Very, very important. So, really last strong way. You could obviously use a mixer for this. A lot of people would use a mixer, but I'm doing it by hand because, you know, a lot of people watching the show wouldn't have a mixer at home. And it's good to get those muscles working anyway. Now, into that, I'm going to add one nice big egg. In she goes. Good match between uh, England and the Team USA last night. Well, it wasn't really a good match. Terrible match. Terrible match. England were lucky. America could have beaten them, actually. They did. That save at the end from Robert Green after he threw one in his own, uh, threw one into his own net. Are you happy with the results, Lauren? Not overly happy, though, seeing something good myself. But um, it's a glitch. We'll bring it back. It's, I'm not bothered. I'm, sorry. <laughs> I'm not bothered. <laughs> I'm not bothered. I'm not bothered. <laughs> one of the most enthusiastic England supporters there that you've ever come across. Right. Next, it's going to go in there some chopped walnuts. Do you like nuts? Uh, yeah. I won't ask Lauren that. I'll ask. <laughs> I'll ask Aaron. Aaron, do you like nuts? No knife. It'll be the best prepared show ever. Am I keeping going? Yeah. <laughs> so you like nuts, yeah? Yeah, I love nuts. Let's get that on a caption in the screen. Aaron loves nuts in his brownies. Blondies. <laughs> Just like interpret that. Anyway. Yeah. Maybe, uh, yeah, anyway. <laughs> what well, Aaron loves nuts and his brownies. There's nothing. There's nothing wrong with that. Anyway. Okay. Anyway, back to the cooking. Nuts straight in there. I wanted to pick something that's really simple as well to cook because desserts, as I think alluded to in the show in the past, are not my favourite thing in the world to do because I hate measuring stuff out, little teaspoons and fucking cups of this and stuff, but if you keep it really simple, everybody does love dessert, so it's nice to have them. What did you do there? Did you put the flour in? Flour in, yeah. So basically bringing that together very gently with your spatula. And we're looking for a nice smooth mixture at this stage. So, starting to come together nicely. Still a little bit wet. So just make sure that flour is evenly distributed in there. Now something else that we are going to add in is a cigar. It's not actually a cigar, it's a vanilla pod. So in here are the little magic vanilla pods, which are, how much are those, Lauren? Six what? euros, yeah. So two little things, about seven, eight bucks for two of these. They're fresh. They do make a huge difference. If you remember the sugar that we made, vanilla sugar, vanilla sugar. which we've been using um, in home cooking, we put fresh vanilla into those. We're going to use fresh vanilla again today, so just cut straight down the middle. If you don't have these, if you're on a bit of a budget or trying to save money due to the worldwide uh, recession that we're having. The world ride. Wor Due to the world ride recession, <laughs> recession yeah. that we're having, I'll save one for later on. We're making an unbelievably tasty uh, milkshake later on. I'll save one for that. Yeah, use vanilla extract if you're not uh, if you're not loaded, which we are not. But we want to make as nice as we can for the show. So in goes the vanilla essence, and it'll spread down into like a thousand little speckles in there, which will be really really nice. And that is it in a nutshell. Oh. Where's the chocolate? Where's the chocolate is right. The most important. 
I was looking at it and I was like, it looks pretty good, but there's definitely something missing. Um, and it is, of course, chocolate. So in goes the chocolate. I always go a little bit more generous than what it actually says on the recipe. If it says a cup, go with a cup and a half of chocolate, because I mean, that's the best part of the whole uh, blondie, basically, is when you bite in and get those lovely little pieces of chocolate. So, just like that. Can you eat brownie mix like cookie dough? Yeah. Mix? You can. Does it taste it's good? the same thing, nearly. Taste it? Wow, big piece, huh? I know exactly. Oh, Tell me what it tastes like exactly. Apart from cookie dough. Like nuts? No, like, have you ever had the Hagen dazs or Ben and Jerry? Like, oh, doesn't that taste dough. like yeah, the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly like the cookie dough? You could just put that in ice cream and have it as cookie dough. You could? Absolutely. Right, so in it goes. What I'm actually doing is I've got it on some greaseproof paper in here just so it doesn't stick at all. Don't be scared to lick your fingers. I think it's one of the most important parts of the whole process. Licking the fingers. Now you can see that it's all come off the bowl really, really simply. None left whatsoever. That's how you can tell it's the right consistency. Now what I want to do is I want to make these about, let's say, just under an inch, maybe two thirds of an inch thick. They're gonna rise up ever so slightly. So into a square shape. Just, it's like basically doing cement, isn't it? Or like building a house or something. It's basically spreading it around. And if I lift that up, see the thickness? Can you see that? That's what we're looking for. <laughs> what are you Real laughing at? Real pervy, you looking up. <laughs> anyway, go on. <laughs> Now what I've done there is I've kept a little bit of grease proof on the side. You know when you're trying to get into brownies or something when they're cooked and it's really hard to get in? A little bit of grease proof up there and then you just lift them up when they're cooked. So that is then pretty much ready. I've got the oven heating up to 200 degrees centigrade, 400 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm going to pop those in for about 20 minutes. And as those go into the oven, I can tell you about our first sponsor, which this week is Squarespace. Squarespace is a publishing system for anyone looking to build a blog, portfolio, or any kind of web website. website. Squarespace offers a uniquely flexible tool for just about anyone, no coding experience required to build high-end, complex websites with the same functionality that you will find on some of the hap, 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 highest traffic websites on the web. Struggling with the words today, um, don't know why that is. Squarespace, great, great system if you're out there and you want to start something yourself. Food websites, we've talked about it in the past. If Aaron, if you wanted to set up your own little movie making or production website or whatever it is, you can go in there, I've done it before. Bang up your website in, I'm not joking, like 10, 15 minutes. That's Squarespace, check it out for websites. Now, crucial part of the show, World Cup's on at the moment. Who are you supporting? Uh, Ireland are not in it, obviously. No, I had someone, who was he supporting? Uh, Holland. Holland? Yeah. England? I am with, I was going to be Holland as well, but seeing it, I can't be the same as you. I am, think I'm going to go with Argentina. Grand. Um, because it's the World Cup, we thought we'd do something uh, football focused. We're going to have a little challenge now, and I'm going to absolutely kick Aaron's ass in keepy uppies. Need a trick. That's good. <laughs> 36, exactly the same. Up to you guys to decide who the winner of the skills challenge was. I think there's absolutely no doubt whatsoever. Won it by a country mile. I don't think it was the skills, it was more a keep you up challenge. If I had to do skills, I would have watched it. Like. Well, I think we'll let the viewers decide. I think it was a very, very clear winner on that one. If you guys want to do some keepy uppy challenges yourself, send them in on YouTube, take one, take some pictures, whatever. We'll feature one of the best next week if anybody can be bothered to do some something better than what we did because I think it wasn't really that impressive. Now, blondies are nearly ready. I think every time you have cookies or something like that, a real treat, like it's Sunday here and we're filming and we want a real treat. So not only gonna have blondies, but we're also gonna have a really, really luxurious milkshake. So nice simple vanilla ice cream I'm gonna sort of double up on the vanilla with that vanilla pod that I was talking about earlier slice them down the middle I think we're gonna be pretty uh, fat after this be like that app you had last week literally the before and after what's it called fat me fat booth, fat booth. Um, 
In goes the vanilla. No, milk. And I'm, I'm really not holding back on this. I'm making it literally as luxurious as you could possibly have. Milk goes in there. You guys, big milkshake fans? I know you like them, Lauren. Yeah, I love vanilla milkshake. I hate chocolate milkshake. Really? And chocolate ice cream, actually. I used to be like that, but then chocolate fudge brownie, there's a chocolate fudge brownie flavor that's just what, like- What, milkshake? No, cho like ice cream. It's really good. Mm, I think you guys are basically deluded. In goes the banana. Banana is really good, not just for flavor. It's kind of that little subtle flavor at the background. Do you like banana? I, I like banana, but you I don't. like it in this. No, but like you can't put fruit in dessert. You can't put fruit in desserts. Okay, who said that? Uh, people who uh, me. enjoy desserts. Like of course you can have banana. Right, so banana's going in. Ignore Aaron. Banana's in, not necessarily just for the flavor, but also for the texture. It gives a really nice, smooth, creamy texture. I wasn't going to throw nuts in. I put in a couple of nuts, just because I saw them there. Um, and Oreos, really, really not very good for you, but you know that how tasty they are. They're gonna blitz up, and I don't know what they put inside them. Probably like ground up children or something like that. But yeah, because children are good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, whatever's in there, they taste amazing. Now, just gonna blitz that. Well, you're gonna say it's gonna oh, go it's everywhere. It's gonna go everywhere. If you want to get kids to drink milk, <laughs> put, <laughs> put ice what cream. What kids don't like milk? Kids don't like milk, do they? Oh, they do. They have, yeah, they do. Sorry. Um, kids eat chocolate. <laughs> that's basically our absolutely gorgeous milkshake in there. Uh, we've got there's a lump of banana. That's your one, Aaron. Um, I'm using a little hand blender. You could, of course, use a nice big one of those, whatever they're called, I don't know. Big uh, kitchen blender. <laughs> yeah, blender, kitchen blender. We've got Oreos in there, we've got bananas in there, we've got vanilla in there, we got... Walnuts in there. Oh my God. Before people start giving out to me about, I'm obviously gonna drink all of this, it's not, nobody else is gonna drink it. That's probably the nicest thing I've ever tasted. Ever. I'm gonna make you guys wait another one or two minutes until the blondies are ready. Why? Well, taste it if you want. <laughs> it literally could not be nicer. I think that is probably the nicest uh, milkshake we've ever had. Tell me if you've ever had nicer than that. Uh, it's all right. <laughs> oh my God, a bit lumpier. Bit lumpier? <laughs> wow. Now, a couple more minutes for the blondies in there. Next sponsor is Gamefly. So Gamefly is the largest online video game rental service and offers you a choice from over 6,000 new and classic titles across all consoles and handhelds. With plans starting at $15.95 a month, Gamefly members can rent one to four games at a time and keep them for as long as they like. Brilliant, brilliant service where you basically rent games in exactly the same way as you do with movies on Netflix. They send them out, you play them as long as you want, send them back, there's no late fees. Complete no-brainer if you wanna if you wanna play games instead of going to the shops and buy them. What games are you playing this week? I've been playing FIFA. I wanted to get the FIFA World Cup game. I just keep on playing the games that are on. FIFA World on, Cup. On FIFA, like. That are on what? On like in the World Cup. You just, oh. I play them myself. It's far more at the time. So when exactly would? Uh, well, that doesn't even make sense. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Gamefly, great way of getting games. Um, Aaron is our in-house gamer, and he says FIFA. Go and rent FIFA, enjoy the World Cup. You want to be Ronaldo and Rooney, basically, would you? Oh, sure. And Messi. Yeah. So, blondies. Ooh, looking good. Smelling fantastic. Now, as I said, obviously, if you're doing this at home, take your time, let it cool down, because your hands, you don't want to get them burnt. I'm fairly used to it at this stage. So, just lift them out like that. Whoop. Straight up made a bit of a mess of those. <laughs> Obviously take your time. And we're just basically using the magic of science, just gonna let those cool down for about two or three minutes. Okay, so oven is up, and I'm just gonna basically cut these into nice square shapes. If you look in there, wow, those look amazing. Oh my God, so good. Actually, a little bit of icing sugar first. Now, went to the shop. <laughs> wow, chop to buy ice and sugar. And all they had 
powdered sugar if you're, in the, if you're in the States, a one kilo, three kilo, six pound bag of icing sugar was all that they had. Shipped straight in from Colombia. Um, absolutely <laughs> massive. I don't know what the hell we're going to do with that. We're going to have to be using nice and sugar everywhere for the next. So basically a nice little even dusting of um, ice and sugar all over the top. We're not exactly short of it, so I'll do a bit more. On that goes. Lovely. Makes it, I'm telling you. Now, nice big generous portions of these blondies and then just cut across. I don't like little miserable portions of uh, stuff like this. You want to be real generous with it. And on those go. Perfect for the kids. In truth, you want to really sort of let them cool down and leave it for about 10, 15 minutes before you have them, because then they go all nice and gooey and crunchy and got those little chocolate bits in there. They're absolutely gorgeous though. I can't, uh, can't tell you enough how big a discovery this was. And Do we need to keep chopping? Do we not just eat the ones that are on the plate, no? You know, I just want to build them up. If that's, yeah. Unless you want to come in, do well, you want to yeah, do it? Nice. So yeah, taste them. Come on over and taste one, Lauren. They're actually quite hot, so careful. What do you think of those? Here down. Really nice. They'll get even better as time goes on and you let them go gooey. All you want to do is serve those up with that lovely Oreo, um, Oreo banana, a little bit of vanilla milkshake. They're ready in absolutely no time at all. Have the milkshake made in advance, pop it into the fridge, absolutely gorgeous. We finally made a nice sort of dessert sweet thing on Food Mob this week. It's little blondies with the milkshake. Unfortunately, over there on the screen, the football has come on, which means we're gonna cut the show short and go and watch that and enjoy it with this. Remember to send in your food photos, facebook.com forward slash food mob, twitter.com forward slash food mob TV, all those different places. Send in your videos, doing your juggling skills and uh, vote for me kicking Aaron's ass in those skills. We'll see you next week. That's it for Food Mob. Thanks very much.